Hello everyone, it's Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV and I'm back with a new show. As you know, I usually do all the roundup shows, but this is a brand new show that I'm going to be doing the day after the game. It's a players rating show, so I'm just going to talk through each and each individual player and give you my ratings on how they performed in the game. Obviously, game yesterday, Watford won, West Ham won. Um, two points dropped in my opinion, you know, we, sh we should have won the game. But look, I'm going to go through the players' ratings. Let's start off in goal. Darren Randolph. Um, didn't really have much to do in the game. I mean, as a goalkeeper, you don't really want to concede an early goal. And as you know, we give away a penalty early doors and Troy Deeney tucked it away. Randolph was criticised a bit for standing up too long, but he obviously done his homework on Troy Deeney. And as we know, he usually goes down the middle. But look, through the game... Didn't really have much to do. There was one bit where he nearly got caught out, where he kicked it. Uh, Troy Deeney closed him down. So my ratings for Randolph is I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 for yesterday's game. Uh, next on the list is he filled in at right back yesterday, Czech Kiate. Um Look, as we know, give away the penalty. Um, what he was doing, we don't know. I mean, he's gone into the back of Zorati. Zorati's not going nowhere. Um, wasn't comfortable at right back. It's not his fault, though. He's filling in uh, in a position that we should have filled in the summer uh, and in the January transfer window. We've got Byram on the bench. So he's done an all right job, but, I mean, he got booked as well. So it wasn't Czech's greatest performance at right back. Better going forward. Um, I'm going to give Czech a 4 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Um, next on the list, uh, Jose Font. I uh, thought we had a... Shaky start, uh, first 10 minutes, uh, but after that, it grew into the game. Uh, I thought he put on a really good performance, uh, nearly got his first goal. It was a great save by Gomez, um, whether it was Gannon or not. I mean, it looked like he was in the post, but no, he looked solid. He made a great tackle near the end of the game when Watford was on the attack. So I'm going to give Jose Font a 7 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Uh, next is his centre-back partner, Winston Reid. Once again, I thought him and Font, they look like they're getting a good partnership together. Reed had another solid game. Um, winning headers, winning tackles, just a typical Winston Reed performance. I can't split the two, so I'm going to give Winston Reed a 7 out of 10 as well. Um, next, Aaron Creswell. Um, I thought he had an alright game yesterday, getting up and down the left wing, uh, putting a few good balls, uh, a much better performance than he has been in the last few weeks. Um, like I said, comfortable on the ball yesterday. Um, give it away a couple of times, but he won a few important challenges as well. And he whipped in a few good balls that we should have got on the end of. So I'm going to give Aaron Creswell a 6 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Um, now let's move into the midfield. Starting off with our captain, Mark Noble. Um, I, Mark Noble for me yesterday wasn't a great game. Um, give the ball away a few times. But I think he the second half, he was much better than he was in the first half. But it wasn't a great Mark Noble performance yesterday. And I know a few people have been saying that over the last few weeks. People think he should be dropped. Um, as you know, I'm a big Noble fan. But on yesterday's performance, I'm going to give our captain, Mark Noble, a 5 out of 10. Uh, moving along to his midfield par partner, Pedro Obiang. Different class yesterday. I thought um, first half, he was unbelievable. Winning, I, I don't think he'd give a pass away in the first half. Uh, tackling, confident on the ball. Uh, every single game now, he's growing into it. He's getting he's getting more used to premiership football. He's only young. You know, I thought he had a great game yesterday. Uh, second half, died down a bit towards the end, but I thought it was a great, great performance from Pedro Obiang. And I'm going to give Pedro Obiang an 8 out of 10 for yesterday's performance. Uh, next on the list, Sofian Figuli. Um, I thought he had a, a, a decent game yesterday. Uh, up and down the wing, uh, taking people on. Once again, he's another player who's getting a bit more confident every game. Uh, putting a few good balls, uh, making good runs into the box. Uh, give the, like I said, give the ball away a couple of times, but you, you've got to expect it. Every player is going to give the ball away a few times in the game. Uh, but like I said, I'd like to see more of Faguli over the next few weeks. 
Um, so for on yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Faguli a 7 out of 10. Um, moving on now to Lanzini. Um, for me, he was unbelievable yesterday. The, he's getting more and more confident every single week. And what I noticed about him yesterday was he was dropping off more, wanting the ball, uh, looking up, looking for players to make them runs. He was linking up well with Obiang uh, and Mark Noble as well. And I thought, the, especially the second half, um, he got hold of the ball more. He was taking people on. And, you know, for me, he, um, I'm going to give Lanzini a 9 out of 10 for yesterday's performance because I thought he was... If he would have got a goal yesterday and won us the game, he would have easily got a 10 for yesterday. But, um, like I said, love Lanzini. Uh, I'll, over the next few weeks, especially in these big games coming up, get hold of the ball more, take more players on, make things happen. Um, next on the list, uh, Robert Snodgrass. Probably, um, probably the worst performance I've seen him in a West Ham shirt so far. But he still still made the runs. Uh, his crossing yesterday was awful. A few corners, a um, couple of crosses. Didn't even beat the first man. Um, look, as we know, he's just signed for the team in January. He's still getting used to working with these players. So he obviously got substituted off as well yesterday. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't a great performance from Snodgrass. But he is a good player. And he will, obviously, hope he will improve in the next game. Um, like I said, I think he needs a goal as well. Get him a goal, bit of confidence. But yeah, on yesterday's performance, wasn't great from Snodgrass. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Um, moving on now, up front, Antonio yesterday. Um, I thought he worked his socks off yesterday. Especially in that first half, he was terrorising the Watford back four. Um, like we know, he's, he's, not an, he's not a natural striker, he's a winger, but... I think he could actually be a, a striker. He's got all the attributes to be he's strong. You see the way he's just knocking players off. Like he's the way he runs with the ball. He's another player that's getting more and more confident every single week. And I love him now that he's taking players on. And he's running into the box. Um, obviously picked up two yellow cards yesterday. The second one was silly. I mean handball. He now misses the Chelsea game. So my ratings yesterday for Antonio I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 if he wouldn't have got the red card it would have been a 9 um, substitutes that come on Andre Ayew come on the 65th minute for Robert Snodgrass um, as we know he was in the right place at the right time after the ball hit the post twice fell to Ayew put it in I thought when he come on he linked up well with Antonio he was looking to play off him um, obviously he only had not that long on the pitch. Uh, he got the equaliser. But from what I see of Ayu yesterday, I feel like he deserves a start in the first team now. Um, with Antonio being out for the Chelsea game now, that might be the game to bring him in. But based on yesterday's performance and scoring, I'm going to give Andre Ayu a 7 out of 10. Um, last player that come on, Fernandez, come on for Lanzini in the 91st minute. What can you do? You're in injury time. He can't do much. Uh, he had a couple of touches. Probably the first thing that he's touched was he got tackled from behind and he was on the floor. So based on his two-minute cameo yesterday, I'm going to give Fernandez a four out of ten. So look, this is, like I said, this is a brand new show that I'm going to be doing uh, after every game. Um, give us your comments below. Let me know your ratings for every player yesterday. Uh, do you agree with some of the comments I've said? Um, and like I said, yeah, give us your comments below. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. We've got so much content coming up over the next few weeks. We are really working hard behind the scenes now to get this channel to the next level. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, but look, we're putting in the graft. And hopefully you like all the stuff we've got coming out. Um, don't forget... Go and see yesterday's fan cams. All the fan cams are up now. And don't forget, go and have a watch of the main show, Post Match Pint, which was a really good show. We spoke a lot about um, other issues as well, uh, not only about West Ham. So it was a really good, really good show. But look, I'll leave that there. I'll be back next week after the Chelsea game. Hopefully, all of these players will be getting 10 out of 10 and we beat Chelsea. But fingers crossed, that's going to be a tough game. But look, I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. They're my ratings. Now give me yours. Come on, you irons.